Welcome to our tutorial on geometric links. As in the previous tutorial, I want to create a plate on top of this plate. I want to make the width of the new plate follow the width of the existing plate. In the previous tutorial, the length dimension of the second plate was driven by the length dimension of the first plate. In this tutorial, we'll do the same thing, but we're going to do it by linking the two plates geometrically. First, let's select Tools, Options, and let's uncheck Keep Link with Selected Object. This is under Infrastructure, Part Infrastructure, on the General tab. Click OK, and let's see how this works. We're going to right-click on Product 1. Right now, we're in the Assembly Design Workbench, Components, New Part. Do we want to define a new origin point? No. Let's expand the Part 2 branch of our tree. Double click on Part Body. Activate the Sketch tool. Let's select the XY plane. Now activate the Rectangle tool. And let's create a rectangle. Something like that. Deselect everything. Now, control select this edge and this line. Activate the constraint tool. The definition window opens. Let's check coincidence and click OK. Next, we'll control select this edge and this line. Again, activate the constraint command and select coincidence. OK. In the specification tree, under Part Body, two curves have been created. For now, I'll just mention the red sign next to the curves. It means that these curves aren't linked to anything. We're going to be working more with this type of geometry later in this video course. OK, we're going to exit this sketch now. And let's create a pad let's say of 10 millimeters in length, click OK. Now let's return to part 1. Click on sketch 1. Here is our dimension, 130 millimeters. Let's change it to 100 millimeters. Tab and OK. Now let's exit the sketch. Obviously, we need an update. Let's do it at the product level. Double click on product 1 and click update. Let's take a look at part 2 or the second plate. It didn't follow the first plate. Let's figure out why. Select tools, options, infrastructure, part infrastructure, and let's check keep link with selected object. Click OK. Let's extend the Pad 1 branch and double click on Sketch 1. Let's hide these curves. Right click, hide. Right click, hide. Now we're going to highlight and delete these constraints. Once again, control select this edge and this line. We get a confirmation message from Katia. Keep link with selected object option is active. Do we want to keep the link with selected object? Yes. Let's check coincidence and click OK. Now control select this line and this edge. Katia again prompts us regarding the link. Yes and we'll check coincidence. Click OK. Let's go back to the assembly level. Double click on product 1 and hit update. As you see the second plate has retreated. Let's click on sketch 1 under part 1. Let's change the dimension to 120 millimeters. OK. Let's go back to the assembly level, double click on product 1 and update. 
As you can see, the second plate now follows the first plate. At the bottom of our specification tree, we've got a branch for external references. Under this branch, we see the curves number 3 and 4. You may remember that when we first extracted these curves, they weren't linked to anything. Well, now they are. We have edges which are linked to external references. And this concludes our tutorial on geometric links.